Here are some common mistakes that people make when they're setting up their gaming setup. These mistakes can not only ruin your gaming experience, but also be costly to fix. Welcome to Gaming Setup Mistakes to Avoid. First up, we have buying the wrong gaming console or PC. It's important to do your research and make sure you're getting a console or PC that can run the specific games you're interested in at a high frame rate. Don't just buy the latest and most expensive model and just expect everything to be fine. Next, we got going cheap on peripherals. A cheap keyboard, mouse, or headset can ruin your gaming experience and not let you play at your best. It's worth investing in quality peripherals that will last and provide a comfortable and smooth gaming experience. Now let's move on to not considering your internet connection. If you're planning on playing online games, you'll need a good internet connection with low latency. Don't just assume that your internet is good enough. Make sure you at least go to where your setup's gonna be and type in internet speed test on Google and see if it's up to par. Next, we have not optimizing your desk space. A cluttered and poorly organized gaming space can make it harder to focus on your gaming. Take some time to clean and organize your setup. You'll thank me later. We have not investing in a good chair. Since I'm assuming you'll be spending most of your day at your setup, you want to take care of your body and make sure you buy a chair that is comfortable enough and won't cause problems in the future. I recommend you not get the gaming chairs because often these are stiff and hard and just not too comfortable. Personally, I'd recommend getting a semi office chair slash gaming chair. Another problem that many people realize too late is not buying a big enough desk. The desk is the foundation of any setup and not having a big enough desk can really limit the potential of your gaming setup. If you have the space in your room, buy a decently large sized desk so that any ideas you guys have in the future for your gaming setup, you'll be able to go through with. Not having a big enough desk can prevent you from having multiple monitors, not being able to get the speakers you want because they're too big for your desk, and just not having enough room in your desk in general. I cannot stress this enough, get a big enough desk. If you have a high-end gaming PC and your monitor is only 60 hertz, that's a problem. If you're wanting to get as much out of your computer as you can, a monitor at 60 hertz can really hold you back. If you don't know what hertz are and you don't know the difference between them and FPS, I'll break it down. If a monitor is 60 hertz, it means that the max that the screen can display is 60 FPS. Your PC may be able to run higher than 60 FPS, but the monitor wouldn't be able to transfer that into frames on the monitor. Lastly, we have not buying enough storage space for your PC. Whether you have an SSD or a hard drive, you're gonna need at least one terabyte of storage space if you wanna play any type of AAA games. Some games get up to being over 100 gigabytes. So make sure if you're planning on building a PC, already have built one or have bought a pre-built, to make sure you buy or get enough storage space so that you can store all the games that you want to play. However, if you already bought a pre-built and it has like 500 gigs, I'd recommend you get more. You can get high quantity of storage with hard drives, which are relatively cheap. There are many videos on YouTube on how to install SSDs and hard drives, so I'll link a couple below. I hope this video has given you some ideas on how to avoid these mistakes and create a comfortable gaming experience. If you enjoyed this video, click the red subscribe button below, turn on notifications, consider following my TikTok right here. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.